All right, here's LP, guys. You have to bear with the, the brake squealing. Trying to get that off, but they just got glazed over again. It's so dusty. It's really annoying. Well, let's people know I'm coming with those squiddling brakes. One thing about a Hardtail 29 is you can do tighter switchbacks than a full suspension 29. You've got the shorter wheelbase. So I do this trail all the time, as you guys know from previous videos. It's usually this trail. And, and this is really the uh, first time in a long time I've had a gear bike and a nice steel gear bike.
like my tire is getting low. Let's see how it holds up. Oh, that doesn't sound good, huh? Shoot. Front tire? No, I guess they're fine. I don't know, I heard it ping pretty bad. And it felt low. I'm gonna take it a little easier because it does still a little bit low and I'd like to just finish my ride without having to change the flat. It's always a pain. I mean it is what it is. This is where suspension really helps more than anything is this chunky section right here. So when I'm on my folder rigid, like, oh my gosh. This one, I feel every single rock. section two on my rigid bike well I can go on and on about that you guys but this bike feels great it definitely takes the sting out of things with with this fork and a really I really love this section too.
how loose this is, you guys. This is why you want wide rims and fat tires. When you're hanging on exposed trail like this, you don't want any skinny tires on narrow rims. And you don't want too wide of handlebars either. Some of those sections fairly clear these 780s. I know some guys go up to 800s, 810s, and stuff like that. I personally don't want my handlebars that wide. And, and I have nothing against those guys that do that to each his own. Well, we made it, folks, without a flat couple more jumps 